And I have my father's voice on there. Oh, wow. Because my father would call and he would, his voice was like Barry White. Okay. He would literally vibrate my machine when he left the message. So I kept it on there. So when he visited from Philadelphia, he could hear how his voice sounded on my recorder because it would sit on our counter and he would call and it would like vibrate the machine. So I left like certain people's voices on there uh, from home because it gave me comfort. Mm -hmm. What do you do with that? Like, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I just have it. But I don't think my children know that it exists. I'm, you know what? They or probably don't. To, or even how to use it. Right. Right. One thing that we didn't touch on that as I look over, you know, what's what's personal information, what I consider personal information that we should share. Um, we didn't touch on making sure that all of your beneficiaries are oh, up to date. Yes. Because things change. You yes. know, some people were single and they got married and they may have gotten divorced or their their parents may have uh, died. Have you updated your beneficiary? That's a good one. Yes. On, on your financial records. Yes. Because yes. if something happens to you, you know, you need to make sure that your money is going to the right people. Right. You right. know, so as couples looking over that or an individual Look at those documents. We, if it's out of sight, out of mind, again, it's it's digital. It's records, right? right? And if you're not, you don't have to do it because you change jobs, or if you don't have to do it because it's not in front of you on a piece of paper, that that stuff right, kind of like think about it. it gets lost. Yes, you know, yes, this day to day craziness. Who has access to your you bank? Know, the institutions they will not give you information. No, they won't. If you are not nowhere on that information, they will not give you any information. Exactly. You got to fight. You got to show death certificates. You got to, you know. Right. So it's important. It's very important to have that information and to, like you say, update it. Update that information. So it's a two-way street. Yeah. We're not just talking about, you know, gaining access, but we're talking about also giving access. Right. That's good. To, to well. information. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Um. And that goes like you know, even like you were saying, not just uh, couples or I, I think even single people. Single people need to have that down. They yeah. need to have that information because who does it go to? Right. If it's your mother, and what if, what if you your, your parents are deceased? Yeah, that's that's the thing. You got to have that backup plan. You mm-hmm. have to have it. Yeah. And, and some it, people might be thinking like, well, it, I don't care. I'll be gone. Really. You worked so hard for it. <laughs> you worked. Yeah, you worked so yeah. hard for it. You may have a niece or nephew that might need some financial support to go to college. Right. You right. know, so and you something else that you were saying, I think that is important too, not only to have the information, but where do you put it? Where do you put it? Yeah. Let's get into it. Yeah, I think you should have, you know, the information. Like I was telling you how I have mine in a file. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, you can put it in a, a binder. And let whoever that important person or that person that you trust know where that information a is. A file you, cabinet. Mm-hmm. A file cabinet or what do you call those little document things where a billfold or yeah. something? Mm-hmm. Yeah, billfold and making right. sure the person knows where it is. I was talking to my niece mm-hmm. who uh, recently her home caught on fire okay. in the middle of the night. Okay. And she kept her documents underneath I mean I'm sorry, in her in a box. Oh, okay. In a special place. Okay. I won't say exactly where. I'm giving okay. them, right? Putting all business on the street. <laughs> and so um, she said that, you know, in, in the chaos of, you know, the middle of the night, got to wake up the family, wake up the kids, get everybody out the house. She remembered to say, grab the box, grab the box. Right. And they they got the box and all of their information, birth certificates. Birth certificates. Right. You got your marriage license. Yes. You have might have death certificates of, of people, social security cards, IDs, all that was in that box. And she remembered at that moment. Grab the box. Grab the box. That's good. That's so that really she has a, doesn't have to start from scratch. I mean, she's starting from scratch with the 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 personal items, the furniture and things like that, and clothes, but. You know, at least documents. she doesn't have to go through the government to get all of these documents and prove who she is. Because she, you know, like, right. just ID think about it. If that. she had lost all of that, she would have to. And do you know how strategy. long it takes to get a birth mm-hmm. certificate? Because that was one of the things, you know, my mom, we call it the country. You know, she was mm-hmm. born in the country. And mm-hmm. 
they didn't really have birth certificates and stuff when my mother was mm-hmm. born. And trying to get a birth certificate, and she has a twin. Oh, oh, I didn't Ooh, know that. Oh, yes. Wow. It okay. is hard. It mm-hmm. is hard. And and then, especially when they're elderly, you know, they don't have driver's license anymore. No. You know. You're talking about anymore. I mean, I don't know. My great, my grandmother, great grandmother, nor my mother had a driver's license. Oh wow! So you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Their that, husband strode them around, and, right? And, the, and most uh-huh. people ask for ID, and yeah, first thing they want is your driver's license. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's hard. It's, it's it's hard to get all that information. So like you were saying, storing I think it store in, in 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 safe places. You know, back in the day, also, but people still do like safe deposit box. Yeah, they do. You know, I, I worked in a bank. When I was younger, and I remember the same people coming through, you know, to go to that safe deposit box, you okay. know, keeping all of their important documents safe, you know, from fires and mm-hmm. floods. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I don't think this generation even knows what a safe deposit they box is. Don't. You know, now they have those those fireproof boxes that you can yeah. buy, you know, like from safe stores. Boxes. Yeah, at home, mm-hmm. those are important. So I do have a couple of those. You have so. a couple of those. Mm-hmm. Right. I do. Yeah, are they too heavy for you to pick up and run out the door if you need to? Well, um, not really. Uh huh. Uh Because uh-uh. girl, I get because it has a uh, a handle on the top. Yeah. Get that handle. I'm gone. You can- <laughs> I'm gone. But that's the one that has the most important stuff in it. It's a handle and hey, and I'm gone. No, mm-hmm. it's not too heavy. Mm-hmm. Wow. What yeah. other what other personal records can you think of that? Well, you know, but you got to make sure you, you, you get your affairs in order. And you know what? Even your house. If you have a house. Um, you know, I just thought about memberships. You know, oh yeah. individually, you have a membership. You have a membership to a gym or some sort of subscription mm-hmm. that you you have. That would keep automatically yeah, withdrawing. Wow. And some people have separate accounts. Well, well, your mother's account was different than yours, right? So you right. wouldn't have seen that withdrawal come out. And but there are couples who choose to have separate checking accounts or savings accounts, and they have subscription services uh, that are you know unrelated to their spouse. That would just continue to withdraw from their account or their credit cards, right? Because you know now we're putting everything on what is it called automatic, automatic, automatic withdrawal. withdrawal. And so with my mom, that was one of the things I had to stop because right. everything was constantly coming out. Mm-hmm. I'm like. She don't need that no more. <laughs> she not receiving that magazine. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she so, don't need essence where she's going. Right. Yeah. And, and it would kept it kept right. uh, automatically withdrawing. That's true. I'm glad you brought that up. That's a very good point. Right. But, Charities. Yes. You know, people they 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 just they would come they around to charity every year. Or, <laughs> yeah. You know. <laughs> Knowing that. And or they're withdrawing. They're doing automatic withdrawals right. from your from your account annually or monthly. Right. Credit report. Yes. Oh, wow. Yes. <laughs> credit reports. Yes. Being aware of what your your credit report scores are, as well as your spouse, your, your significant spouse, a significant other. other, and your parents. Yes. So you can watch those, you know, in the event that they're no longer here. That's right. To make sure that. Because you would be surprised. It's legit. Because that's public information. Mm-hmm. And that they, they're can, deceased. Can, so right. they just pulled, they just create a name. Fake ID. Mm-hmm. And it, it is so surprising how people are able to gain access so freely in a crooked manner, right. you know, and than it is for a person who is actually that person right. to get credit and access, you know, to their own, to their yeah. own you know, information or mortgage, get a car, you know, go in and get a TV, even credit. But these crooks are able to do that, you know, get get apartments in their children's names. And, um, you know, it's it's yeah, crazy. It's crazy because they the criminals, criminal minds. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-mm. So it's important to check to check that. Check the sure credit. You check the credit. Reports. Be aware of it. Get that. You know, I get those emails, those updates, you know, with mine and his uh, to. Make, make sure, sure that it's in order. Yes, make sure that it's in order. No one is fraudulently using it. Did we cover everything, Stephanie? Because I, I just... I believe so. I think girl. we hit it. I just think it's important. My 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 main focus was I wanted people to be aware that even though you're, you're a couple or you have a significant other or, you know, whatever labels you have, that you have the information 
have it, you have the passwords, you have the usernames or whatever it is that you can get to, you can get to it, not just have it, but you can get to it and do whatever that is that you need to do. Because I know sometimes, like you were saying about one of your friends, sometimes as a, a woman, we will let our husband or our spouse or whoever that other person is do everything because, you know, we think that's, oh, that's wonderful. It's laid back. That's great that you do, but you still need to be involved. You still need to have the conversation have the conversation because we all are born. We're born and we're all going to die. And that's sad to say in some form, but you it's have real. to be, yeah, you have to be aware of it. And that was one of the things that I was you know, so not only die, but you have people that's in the service. You have people that are away for a time period. Yes. You know, mm-hmm. that, Life happens yes. and you need to be aware of how to manage your household, how to manage things on your own, on your own, That's independently, yes. you know, but together. I mean, it takes the stress off the other person as well, but just being being involved. Yes. And remember, I was saying to you, um, I'm so thankful. They say, that don't I'm- be scared. Right. And that what Kirk Franklin said, don't be scared to share that information. Right. It's vital. When I was sharing to you about my daughter, I um, uh, didn't want her to have to go through all the funeral stuff when 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 I do pads, that she would have access to the information. She already knows, da 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 one, two, three, where it is. Because it's a lot. It's a lot to it's try to lot. piece things together and... You know, where's this information? Where's and remember that? this, you know, remember that. Yeah, they have former companies or former employers, and mm-hmm. you know, there may be something Name changing. You know, and all of that stuff mm-hmm. just just out there. You know, four hundred one k here and pension here and mm-hmm. all, of, and you got to pull all the information together, pull, looking through files and looking at your tax reports right. just to, you know, get gathered all gather all of that information if you're not aware of it. And if you don't know where it all is, you got to have the conversation and be aware. That was great. I'm I'm glad we had this conversation. Me too. Me too. Be prepared. Yes. Oh, Snoop Dogg says, stay ready so you don't have to get ready. (laughs) (laughs) That That wasn't even in my quote, but I just thought about them like, yeah, you got to stay ready. Yeah. You got to. So you don't have to get ready. Yeah. Yeah. So much of our future is preserving our past. Wow. I like that. Peter Westbrook. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I gave you two this week. <laughs> yes, you did. Yes, you did. <laughs> but I say snoops all the time. But Stephanie, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Yes, it has. It's been a pleasure talking with you. And sharing with our peekers. Ah, uh-huh, I like that. Okay. Our peekers. <laughs> because through this com- these conversations... We are growing. Yes. We're evolving. Yes. We're learning to do better because they say when you know better, you, you do, do better. better. You should do better. Right. Yes. Right. And to all those singles out there, make sure that you, you create a plan. We have a backup plan. And to all those couples, as Stephanie said, have the conversation. Have the conversation and write it down. And write it down. Until next time, Stephanie. I'm Dana Holmes. And I'm Stephanie Neal. Thanks for listening to Widow's Peak. For extended conversation, head over to our YouTube channel. Subscribe to get alerts and sneak peeks on upcoming topics. Don't forget to like and share this podcast with your family and friends. Until next time. Life is precious, and so are you.